Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, and salutations to all you occupied that push this word in sincerity and truth. Coming back at you with another lesson. This is going to be about um, the sellouts in Israel, basically. Because you got a lot of groups out there, Israelite groups out there. Yeah, they're out there teaching that so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites. They're out there, they're they teaching that, but they have other doctrines that's not right. You know what I'm saying? One of the doctrines is that it doesn't matter what the Messiah's name is and the Father. You know, they just say Jesus Christ or they say God. The other doctrine that that's being spoken of is that the RFID, the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast. It's an embargo. It's it's something that's in your mind, the demons in your mind. That's a doctrine that's being preached out there. And there's various other doctrines um, being taught by these different Israelite groups outside of GMS. And another thing that a lot of these um, groups are doing is they're selling merchandise. They're, se they're making merchandise out of the word of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And the scripture clearly say, freely you have received, freely give. But these guys are making merchandise like they're those uh, evangelicals that be on TV, you know, selling all type of stuff. They're selling garments. They're selling basically Israelite startup kits, like posters and um, garments and, and various other things that they shouldn't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? And basically, man, they done sold out, man. They got a 501c3 charter which is, a, um, I guess, a, a, um, is a thing with the church and the state where they have a deal where they can't speak certain certain doctrines, speak on certain doctrines about. And, um, man, these guys have sold out, basically. So I'm just going to bring out a few scriptures um, on these sellouts, man. You know what I'm saying? Because basically they bow down to the devil and they um teaching these awkward doctrines, these, do these false doctrines, man. Okay, this is um, Matthew 4 and 8. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and uh, him is Yahweh Shai, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and say unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. So the devil tempted Yahweh Shai and said, If you fall down and worship me, I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And what are the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them? Having, you know, being able to go everywhere you want, having everybody in admiration of you, being able to buy anything you want, buy any materialistic thing you want, and being able to do what you want, basically, you know? And that's basically what these uh, other Israelite groups have done, man. Okay, they've bowed down to Satan, so they've given them anything they want. And these guys are showing off their little, their expensive uh you know, cars and houses and all this other type of stuff. It has nothing to do with uh, teaching the word, man. Verse 10 says, Then said Yahweh shall unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship Yahweh shall unto him, thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. Okay, so these guys, they don't serve Yahweh shall you know what I'm saying? They serve their own bellies. Okay, they serve their, their, their own selves, man. They're about their selves. So they're not really about the word, man. They just really out there teaching for um t teaching in vain, man. You know. So the most high is gonna deal with these guys, you know, in one way or another. That eventually they're gonna get dealt with and exposed. But it's only a matter of time, you know what I'm saying? This is um let me see, I'm gonna get um this is Matthew uh, 26 and 14. And it says, Then one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot went unto the chief priests, okay, and said unto them, What will you give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they covenanted with him for 30 pieces of silver. And from that time, he saw opportunity to betray him. Okay, so these devils, these niggas out here, they're supposed to be Israelites, preaching the uh, truth, they are getting um, money under the table, you know what I'm saying, to teach those false doctrines. And they're out there selling, like I said, the, um, the word of Yahweh Shema Shah when it's free to give, man. 
So these niggas are total sellouts. Okay, and basically they, they've taken um, 30 pieces of silver, basically, man. That's basically what they've done. They've betrayed the nation of Israel by teaching these false doctrines. And they're going to send a lot of people off in their congregation. And a lot of people in their congregation are going to wake up to their um, wicked ways, man. Some people have woken up and spoke about it on YouTube to these um, other fake Israelite groups out there, man. That's teaching these false doctrines and selling merchandise of the word, man. Okay, this is Matthew uh, 27. And let me see. Now, hold on, hold on. Let me see here. Um, yeah, yeah, Matthew 27 and 1. It says, when the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Yahweh to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, because Judas was the one that took 30 shekels, 30 pieces of silver to um, betray Yahweh Shai. Okay. Verse 3 said, Then Judas, which betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and bought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. Okay. And that's what these niggas going to try to do. They're going to try to, you know, um, Give all that money back and everything when your house shot get ready to come. It's gonna be too damn late, man. Okay, they're gonna be dealt with, man. Cause once you sell your soul, it's over, man. You can't get your soul back. Once you done sold out, you can't come back, man. That's it, man. Okay. It says, verse four says, saying, "I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood." And they said, "What is that to us? See thou to that." And he cast down the the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. Okay. So Judas took those 30 shekels, 30 pieces of silver to betray your house. Shad, then he hung himself, man. All right. He killed himself. Now the most I put the spirit on him to kill himself. So you guys out there, the sellout Israelite groups out there, a lot of you guys, when the time comes, some of you guys might hang yourself or kill yourself or shoot yourself, whatever the case may be, man. Because you're going to feel guilty about the things that you've done, all the wickedness that you've done to your congregation. And you're going to probably kill yourself. People in your congregation might get you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be people in your congregation that's going to get you. All right. So y'all are a bunch of sellouts out there, man. You're not really for the uh, word of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. You're not really for Israel being redeemed out of this place you're getting all that money and you want to stay here and live here okay because you have all this money but soon that money gonna be done away with all right this is on john 2 and 12 it says after this he went down to capernaum he and his mother this yahweh shot and his brethren and his disciples and they continued there not many days and the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Yahweh went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and charges of money sitting. Okay, so these niggas back then were selling in the temple, man, selling merchandise. And that's what these false Israelite groups out here are doing today, selling um, merchandise, selling scriptures and breakdowns. And like I say, garments and various other things that deal with the word, man. Okay, but when you have a shot come back, you're going to deal with these guys, man. All right? You guys are going to be dealt with because you know, and it says in the scriptures that he, that new going to be me beat with a um, few stripes. I don't want to butcher it, but, and it says, um, he that new will be me beat with um, many stripes. And you guys knew the truth and you used it for vain glory. So you're going to be beat with many stripes and there's various hell Hell that Yahweh Bashim Yah is gonna put you through for doing what you did, man. Okay? This verse 15 it says, And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep and the oxen, and poured out the charges of money and overthrew the tables. Okay? Verse 16 says, And said unto them that sold doves, take these things hence, make not my father's house a house of merchandise. Okay? And that's what they have done, man. These sellout Israelite groups, they made the, the um, word of Yahweh Bashim al a house of merchandise. Okay, so 
people out there that hear this, you know, that's that's coming to the truth, man. Y'all y'all gotta know which group to follow out there, which Israelite group and the Israelite group to follow out there is GMS because the elders of GMS and the men out there under GMS on the highways and byways are pushing the word in sincerity and truth. Okay? And they have the word, the, the truth, man. And these other Israelite groups I had like IUIC, um, what's this dude? Um What's this, that, that guy named General Johanna, uh, you know, Bubble Lies and, and all these other fake groups out here. They're not um, in the interest of uh, seeing Israel redeemed. They want to be here and they want to um, live off the riches of this world, man, of, of this so-called white man's world, man. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutations to all you, I came out there pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.